What's up YouTube? It's Cody. Today we're going to be going over a quick how-to on tightening your chain case and draining your chain case, inspecting it, all that stuff. Um, we're pretty well into riding season so far. Uh, this is the 17. We got the 18 behind us. Uh, something you really have to do frequently is change your chain case oil, check your chain case. Well, I guess not change your oil. I usually recommend changing your oil uh, halfway through the ride season, then at the end of the ride season. As far as tightening your chain case goes, you got to be tightening that after every ride. It's an important piece. If you're get, starting to get a clunk when you're, when you're beginning to take off riding, your chain case is super loose. Uh, we just did the 18s a couple minutes ago. It was extremely loose. So we're going to pull the 17 apart. Uh, I'm going to pull the cover off of it. I like to pull the cover off because it's hard to tell how tight the chain case or the chain in the chain case is. So I like to pull it apart so I can feel it with my fingers, see it. You don't want it to be too tight, but you don't want it to be loose either. So we'll uh, get started by taking the whole front hood off. I've already taken the side panels off. We're going to get the whole hood taken off. We're going to pull the exhaust. We'll get the chain case taken apart, uh, go through everything, drain it out, refill it, tighten it up and go from there. This video is brought to you by Full Send Diesel. I know a lot of you guys are driving diesel trucks, hauling your sleds back and forth. If you guys need performance parts, uh, preventive maintenance parts, custom work done, anything like that, check out FullSendDiesel.com. All right, now that you got your side panel and your hood off, we're getting into the meat and potatoes of the things here. We're gonna pull the exhaust off. I really, I'm gonna be doing a video here soon on a HSP can, so we're gonna be uh, <laughs> we're gonna be pulling us all back off again here probably this up and coming week, but we've got probably three to four days of solid riding, so. You gotta pull your exhaust springs. If you have a spring puller, it makes life a lot easier. But you gotta pull your exhaust springs, and then you got three bolts on the bottom here. Well, one bolt on the bottom, and you gotta take the uh, exhaust temp sensor out. It's a 17 millimeter wrench, so. Make sure you get your just making sure it was uh it was actually out. So then this will pop up, your exhaust temp sensor's right behind it. You just want to take and uh if it's got the safety tabs on it, you're gonna have to bend those. If I can figure out where I put my screwdriver, I would love to. That back pocket, of course. But uh yeah, you just you just get in here and you bend the safety tabs up. Once you've dealt with the pain in the butt safety clip and it's out of the way, you can then loosen the exhaust temp sensor. That's the safety pin and I'm not going to be putting that back in. So anyway, that's out. The exhaust pops out. Big heavy muffler. So useless uh, by HSP can. Now that that's all out of the way, we're into the meat and potatoes on why we're here. We're gonna pull this chain case cover off, drain the chain case oil, and check the tension on it, put it all back together, refill it. So, simple enough. I'm hoping all the ice that was built up in here is out. It feels like it, so I guess we'll find out. <laughs> um, yeah, this, this sled just got back from a very, very, very hard day of riding. So, all right, first thing is first, we're gonna pop this little rubber grommet out. Pretty simple, it's rubber, pops right out. So, then we're gonna go around and we're gonna pull all, I mean all, of 
the Torx bit bolts out. You want to pull your fill hole out now. It just makes it a little easier for later. So that's what we're going to work on now. And you do have two 10 millimeter bolts you need to worry about. Your first 10 millimeters at the bottom here, where it goes straight through the drain hole. Zip that 10 mil out. You see? And then the second 10 mil is gonna be the one that holds you just like your little kick plate here. All right, so the chain case is out. It's gonna start draining all the oil out the bottom here. We're gonna disconnect the speed sensor. And then this chain case takes a little finagling, but you can slide it right out. There's the inside of the chain case. And then you have chain case area and your chain. So this chain is pretty tight. I don't really think we have to worry about adjusting this at all, but on the off chance that you do have to, and you will, trust me, the, the 18s was very loose. If you look back here, you'll see this little S-clip and an Allen key. See the Allen key head right there? You'll turn it clockwise, we'll tighten, counterclockwise will loosen. You have to pull the S-clip out. You put the S-clip back in when you're done. You want this to be right here like this. See how it's not terribly tight, but it's not terribly loose either. That's where you want it to be sitting at. And, um, that's all within spec. So we're gonna let all the oil drain out and I'm just gonna spray it down with carb clean real quick. Make sure I got all the gunk out of it and uh, we'll put it back together. Once you got it cleaned up, inspected everything, made sure nothing's broken. You made sure the tensioner's still all good and everything. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll put it back together here. So basically just reverse order. Make sure none of my dog's hair is on it. <laughs> Just clean the bottom of this off because it got some oil on it. So once that's all cleaned off, go ahead and slide this chain case cover back on. Like I said, sometimes it's easier said than done. You get that set back up where it needs to be and we'll be good to bolt it back up all right so once you got the cover situated i always like to start with the the big black bolts the one with the copper washer is the one that goes on the outside here these kind of set everything in place so that's why i like to start with them you just need to get them finger tight Once they're both finger tight, then you can kind of crank them down a little harder. But all right so for the 17 and up 850 ski -Doo's, you want to use synthetic chain case oil xps not the mineral oil if you use the mineral oil you're gonna get a lot of blinky stuff on your screen and no one really likes that so just use the synthetic chain case oil. 
And what you're gonna wanna do, is you're gonna want to pour it through this vent here. And you'll see it, 12 ounces will be what you need, one bottle here. You'll let it drain down and you can see it's starting to drain out of the fill hole here. That is when you know you're filled. So 12, of, I think that's 12 ounces. Yeah, 12 fluid ounces is what the synthetic comes in. That is how much you need. So then you're just gonna tighten your fill hole up. I'm sure you guys would love to see me do that with the impact, but I'm not gonna do that, so. And your chain case has been filled. So then all we're gonna do, we're gonna go back through, put the whole thing back together, get your rubber grommet seated back on here, which is relatively painless. I say that because, you know, anything can be a pain in the butt at times. But that's relatively painless. Get your rubber grommet back on. And we're good to reinstall the exhaust, hood, side panels, all that type of stuff. is the full how-to on how to service your chain case, check the chain case tightness, change your chain case fluid, and everything like that. If you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. We do a lot of riding in the snowy range, uh, as well as a lot of how-to videos with the Ski-Doo Summit 17 and up. So thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.